everyone, so I am back to finish where I left off with my planner. So as I was saying, I had the opportunity to put in a couple of tabs that I really wanted to put in here. They just let me know where my wish list is, uh, my dream journal. Uh, as you can see, I have my apping, which I, it says apping, but it's like amp maintenance, which I'll show you that when we get to it. Got my lists, and then back here I've got my doodles tab. So, and then I added an extra pen loop because I realized I needed uh, a better pink pen. This, the one on here, I believe I got this from Target, I think. I'm pretty sure it's one of the, it's not a UB, but I put some washi tape around it. But the crappy thing about this is is the black pen doesn't work anymore on here and neither does the pink one, so that's why I added those in. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue where I was. I remember. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting frame here. Okay. So where I last left off was here. This is my app fun. Um, book it's not app fun it's more like app maintenance and basically what I do is I okay let me go ahead and open it up uh, so I use this not for social media I use it specifically for everything that's not social media that's on my phone for instance I do iPoll, Lucktastic and Google Opinion and those are um, they're like surveys that you can do and you earn money and stuff for them and nobody likes doing that so I just do it anyway because it's like I can earn an extra 20 bucks by the end of the week so why not and then I can use it as an I can put it on PayPal or I can use an Amazon gift card to um, basically get the money so why not it's extra money it's fun it's not too bad so I just have this reminder acetate piece that I am using. I'm sorry. Okay, so my daughter was going a little crazy. Okay, so I just use this piece of acetate to mark a, as a reminder of where I am as far as that goes because each page is its own um, app, which as you can see, I just started Google Opinion today, so I haven't gotten a chance to write anything down, but this is where it's going to be. For instance, right now I'm at a dollar at Looktastic, I already cashed it out, and I have to basically rebuild back up, so I'm keeping track of all of that now. I think this is a good, a good idea if you have apps that you need to keep up with um, hourly or daily and you can't remember, so that's why I use that. And then I've got this Project Life card that just says find something you love and do it forever. And it is just encased inside of one of the other side of that sticker, um, I guess you could call it packaging. And um, yeah, basically I decorated it with a, a sticker and I um, put some of these awesome beads here. They're not beads, they're sticker... Um, they're pearl stick half sticker beads and they're lined up I love them so much I think I'm out of them now though I think I may have one row left and I'm like hoarding saving it and then I just have a binder clip that is attached to a pin loop that I created because I just used some of that awesome do you know that tape that you use from the hospital hospital tape is great for making pin loops and I just put an extra piece on the inside of this loopy part so that um, the sticky parts touched so this inside isn't sticky it's just this and it works so well anyway so um, I just have a couple of these awesome list pads here that well list list pad pages from the Target dollar spot we're all hoarding these because let's face it Target came out with a really good one when they came up with this design I have the whole list pad I just I'm <laughs> I'm hoarding them. I don't want to use them. Okay, and then this is the inside of a folder that I have where I just keep my polar bear card I got from Daiso and my Meryl Streep paper clip. And then inside of this folder I have my lists booklet 
and I've got this chandelier from a magazine. I thought it was pretty. I was like, why not add some glam to my planner? Why not? Why not? And um, I just have all of my lists here, my procedures. See, this is where this procedural book came from. All of my ideas to put everything in here came from all of these lists that I made. I just wasn't sure. I didn't want it all. It was so disorganized to me that I could not figure out where each list was. I didn't want to put tabs on all of the sides just to find these lists. So it's good to have these on the go so if something happens where I want to add it to this booklet full of my awesome lists. If you have not seen this already, this is basically my book of procedures. How I get all the maintenance done in all of my planners and life in general. This is my cleaning procedure. I've got a beauty procedure. I've got marriage procedure, just procedures, 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 um, faith planning and all that stuff. I've, that's what that book is for. If you guys haven't already seen that, I do have that in a couple of other videos and such. So, okay, so that is all my lists and I just have it. Oh, aren't those doodles cute? I was making favorite foods lists and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I made a sandwich. It looks real <laughs> anyway so um, moving on those are all my lists and that's where I stopped so and then at the end I just have daily shake shots these daily shake shots I make for my children and myself so that we can stay healthy it has like lemon and spinach and all kinds of stuff so basically instead of giving them a whole smoothie I give them a shot of it and I freeze the rest so that I can you know it's kind of like an ice cream drop in the morning for them and they enjoy it so and then there's the other half of that I love this typewriter I wish there were more of them I wish I um, knew where I could get some more of these but um, I think I got it from Michaels I'm not sure I don't they don't sell it anymore anyway so um, there's another project life card with some washi tape and then this is my kids section in my kids section I don't really have much of anything right now Sorry guys, my paper clip got stuck. And this used to be a bracelet that I had. It just says love, isn't that pretty? And I just attached it to a paper clip. I'm thinking about putting some feathers or something here. I'm not sure yet. But um, it's, it's more to add on to. But like I said, I don't really have anything in here. I know that there are things that I wanna keep up with with my children that I can't keep up with that I want to keep up with all of them together, not just one of each of them individually. So that's where this is going to come in, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, so we'll see. So that is just a big old empty book so far. There's my piece of acetate. I love this acetate with the flamingos. As you guys can see, it's all the way throughout. And then this is my son Miles' stuff. Um, he doesn't really have any personal information here that you can see, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip. And I just have um, a school tracker for him, which I have not been keeping up with. I started this in March, April, it's now May, I'm a month and so, or so behind, but all of these days he was at school except for one day so I know I can mark it in easily and then I have his medical information same thing follows if he was sick I know why he missed school and blah 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 and um, then down here I have a list of his medications and this is his hygiene schedule which I have not been keeping track of either he's been taking baths but I'm trying to record and see how well he's getting at bathing on his own so that's what that's for and this keeps moving but it's supposed to mark all three of my little knick-knack children <laughs> and then over here after all of that I have where I oh I didn't show you this part this page um, this is my growth map I've just keep, been keeping track of his height and weight um, now that he's seven when he turns seven and a half which is going to be in June which is next month um, I know he's already I know he's going to be about 65 probably by the time June rolls around because he seems to gain about five to ten pounds every month or gain about five pounds every month yeah that's right <laughs> so 
so um, then I have where I keep all of their doctor's visits. Anytime we go to the doctor, since this is my to-go planner, I take notes here. Even though they do give me paperwork, I want to have those notes on hand for when I go to any other doctor. And I'm working on a chore list for him, so that's what this is. I'm starting it, but I, we've started it in general, but I have not implemented it into my planner where I make sure that it happens uh, reoccurring. So we're at the very end of the book, well, at the planner. So let me go ahead and finish. I'm going to put my clip here because it's starting to get chunky. So there we go. Okay, and so I have the same thing for my youngest son, Ryan. Um, he is a little bit more high functioning than my son, other son. So this his school tracker, all of it's about pretty much exactly the same except blue because my son's color is blue. He has more doctor's appointments because he has problems um, with his respiratory system. He has allergies and he has sleep apnea and a bunch of other things that are going on. So I have a list of his medications and stuff as well too. He has way more than my other son because, uh, like I said, respiratory issues. And then we have more acetate, and then my daughter, she's the little sister. And I don't keep track of as many things for her because she's not in school right now, so it's really hard to keep track of anything that's going on with her, other than the fact that she gets sick or doesn't. That's pretty much the only thing I'm taking care of. I was so sad this page ripped. Oh my God, what do, I don't know what to do. Anyway, so then we've got her hygiene list. Um, and I wanted to add a potty training list too to her list, her, her stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then here's her growth chart and her last doctor's visit and just all that kind of stuff. If you hadn't noticed, yes, all of this stuff is kind of newish or all of the apps aren't totally filled out or all of the apps, all of the books are not completely filled out with stuff because I started I had these in here for a while, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to use them for, but now I have a purpose. So that's what that is. These stickers I got from Michaels, aren't they just the most adorable things you've ever seen? I love, 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 love them. They're all little stickers um, that you can put on your calendar or whatever. I don't know what to use them for. I have like six sheets of them. So if somebody wants to do a stop, crystal I can definitely put it in there so we'll see um, what goes on with that like I said I've got like two three more of these that are kind of expendable to me not expendable but I will be willing to give them away so there's like two in here and then I have some in ver a couple in various other places for when I want to use them whenever that may be and then I have another calendar book back here which I think been thinking and thinking and thinking and I decided that I wanted to keep this as my food tracker as my eating tracker for personally myself not my children not and I, I know I have a meal planner but I do not want to keep my meals that I plan for myself in here because this is for the family and I wanted to keep track of all of the family foods in here as well as how much food I consume, but I didn't want to write down my stuff because I wanted to eat differently than my family. I wanted to eat smaller, you know, more healthy foods. Like, I don't want to eat lasagna. I want to eat, like, uh, a wrap, a burrito wrap or something, a lettuce wrap or something like that. You get what I'm saying. I don't want to just keep my food with everybody else's because it's not going to be the same. And then I just have this blank book here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but it is here if I wanna use it. And then my last book is Doodles. I would, I didn't wanna show this because it was a work in progress, but I really love how she came out. I doodled this poodle, my doodle poodle. And she is adorable to me. I think that she is very solemn looking, very sad maybe. I'm not really sure. I wrote a whole little uh, a whole little thing about it because I find it just so heartwarming to see her because it's like, is it night? Is it day? Is she sulking in the daytime? 
she's sulking at night where nobody can see her. She's gorgeous, but she's so sad or something. And it's like a mystery I created. And then I just redrew it on the, um, the same thing on this page. And I tried to draw an owl, but I was horrible at that, as you can see. <laughs> I'll stick to doggies. I'll stick to pretty doggies. I hate owls anyway. Birds always try to kill me. So um, the end of this is just, um, okay, this is my piece de resistance. I loved this collection of sticker or sticky notes. This came from Daiso. <laughs> look at those. Look at those sticky notes. Like seriously, look at them. You've got this magic mirror on the wall and then you've got this bird cage, this exotic, glamorous bird cage and then you have this vanity I just love it it's so pretty and then behind here I just have a big this is a big sticky note sheet they're sticky notes and I have two different kinds this one and then there's this one I love these so much um, it just reminds me of Celeste's Alice in Wonderland planner it, it looks a lot like Alice in Wonderland to me because there's a cat here and there's it looks like furniture falling from when she was falling down the um, the rabbit hole so I, I really just love this and it just made me so happy <laughs> when I saw it and then this is like when she was bowing to the Queen of Hearts saying yes your majesty I know right so um, it just it made me happy all these cute little pink things. I want to put more sticky notes and stuff in there. I've got all of these awesome sticky notes. I love this one. It says, fight like a girl. Because <laughs> I love that concept. It's like, don't fight like a guy. Fight like a girl. Awesome. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that you guys stay tuned for my next video that will be coming out. It will be coming out this week. So yes, guys, I'm doing more than two videos in one week. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. <laughs> I've been so inspired by my group. Um, chunky planner lovers we love chunky planners and this is chunky planner 11 so i hope to see you guys next time bye